what is up guys in this video we have another in the unranked to unreal series in this video we get to elite rank and i do show my stats for ranked up to this point so far after the first game as always if you guys do enjoy this video find it helpful informative interesting remember to give it a like subscribe if you like to see more let's get into the games i've noticed people landed here but not like on me on me With like a shotgun. Fuck waves. I'm gonna use this. I'm not full yet. I don't even know if I want the pump. I like genuinely think I might be better off with the burst SMG as my shotgun instead of a shotgun. Oh, there we go. GG's. That might have been a waste of a shockwave to go on that, but I just want to get that kill quickly and like have my POI. Also, there's an NPC nearby that sells shock. So like if I have to use a few shocks to fight here, I'm down for that because I can just go to the NPC and buy them. If somebody else doesn't eliminate her. I still look for the cooler sometimes when I'm here. Badge. Thank you for the bits, Crimson. Fighting over here. Usually I would think this is AI, but since it's ranked, Wouldn't be. This is like the first time I've seen people fighting at this lake and it's an actual human involved in it. I think I might just go about my day though. Like unless I headshot snipe one of them, we're getting nothing out of that, I don't think. I don't know if I'd rather have bunkers than shocks. If I didn't find this sniper, I would just run shotgun AR. Shockwaves and bunks. There was bunks there, but it's like you almost can't even know. I can't know if I'll need them until I like make it to the end game. And see like, oh yeah, it's an actual end game. But you get some matches that are just like dead and then there's no real end game. You just play it like a pub. So most of the NPCs respawn. I don't think this one does. I'm gonna kill her. Just to prevent more people from buying shockwaves her. You can challenge her and get a sniper, but she actually drops her regardless if you hit the challenge or not. The radio tower there. I don't know if I wanna go for it though. This one is like so third party there's a winged player on me alrighty then not sure what the play there was kind of greedy to go for that snipe but like their hitbox is so big with the wings I thought I could at least body him again this guy is bunkers only one though.
don't know what this guy's doing. He might be fighting somebody else. There's like three or four people here. One's pushing down. I don't know if I want to be involved in this, so I might just like... I was just shooting an auto shotgun. The guy above me as well, sniping at him. Bodied him. Okay. We we'll probably just leave. Like, I don't want to be too attached to this radio tower because I think it's getting like, I think it just will get chain third partied over and over again. Once I body that guy and he's not dead. I was hoping that that click skin would be weak from that fight because she just like used her shotgun in a fight. And so like she might have taken some damage back as well. And if I like body her there, we might just get a free kill, but it didn't happen. I'm going to see if this bunker is going to spawn. It will not. I don't think that G-Wagon spawns up there. I'd really like to get a weapon bunker though, because I don't have a red dot on my R. I also don't have very much sniper ammo. There's a guy right there. You see his gun? He tried to like pull me a chain. If he peeks. I just go bottom fencing. But I want a red dot on my arm and I want more sniper ammo. I only have like four shots. Okay. This... I don't know, this is sketchy. This bunker is like kind of the best one in zone, but I feel like it's about to be so chaotic. But also this one I feel like is about to be so chaotic as well. If I was on the other side of the map, I think this one would be the best one to get, especially because that radio tower hasn't been taken. So I think I'm just going to go to this bunker and kind of play it similar to like how I played that radio tower earlier. Like if I can get it for free or conveniently, that'd be nice, but it's not worth dying over. Like any of these mid-match objectives you just run the risk of getting like chained third party into oblivion and then even if you get it it doesn't matter because it's like so unlikely for you to survive or you have to use so much to survive like i'd use like all my heals all my shockwaves that it's like you live but at what cost like the game is so hard to play out at that point the guy in front of me to my right on this hill we're about to run out of gas. That's not ideal. I was gonna say, I wanna get to like at least the top of this hill somewhat. I'm just gonna go on it. I don't think he's gotten any time to heal. Dang. Phew. 
could have shocked with my shotgun out there, I think. I think someone's baiting this because there's shockwaves down here, but the chests aren't opened. Or maybe not. There's just shockwave floor there right there. Okay. I thought someone looted like one side, but not the other. Okay. The bad part is I got no sniper ammo out of this. Now, so I got no bunkers. If I got bunkers, I'd honestly drop the snipe for them at this point because I only have three shots anyways. I'm gonna play the top of this bunker because I feel like people never expect it. There's somebody else here. We gotta go down. I don't know if there's a G-Wagon at the front of this house like there is sometimes. That was what I wanted to track after leaving the bunker. No? Fencing might have one. I don't think that parking lot had any cars. I might just wait for the next zone. I don't know. This is rough. I kind of want to go fencing and get a car, but at the same time, fencing can be so ratty, and then there very well may be no cars. So I don't want to go there and then just immediately have to leave. I don't think this guy's going to fight me because I feel like he would have if he was going to already, you know? Like, if he was down to psycho me, he would have... That's not at all what I anticipated doing. That's Fortnite, you jinxed it. I was gonna say, if he was gonna psycho me, I feel like he would have done it already. Like, right when I went into the bush, you know? Right, whatever. Maybe could have fought him there too, but I was just like, I don't know. Thought he was getting on me on me, so I just left. One more shot. GG's. No sniper ammo from it. The G wagon here, at least. Wow. All right. Normally, I would go for gold shotgun, but I feel like I'm gonna be using my AR more at range because I don't have a sniper, and we have a blue shotgun, which is like okay-ish, you know. Somebody fizzing over there. It's gotta be very careful taking fights because like AR into sniper, you can hit several shots and then still just get headshot sniped. I'm terrible. It's bait though. Maybe he thinks I'm trash now and he'll run out in the open.
This can be a somewhat isolated kill to get though. Like that's why I was down to fight him because I didn't think there's anybody else in fencing with how things had played out thus far. He does have a sniper, but we'll just play no snipe and see how the end game goes. So I'm kind of conflicted on what I want to run in game for comp anyways, whether or not just like shotgun AR, no sniper, and then have mobility and bunkers or what. We don't have bunkers, we have bubbles, but... This guy might be weak. Maybe we gotta let that kill go. He wasn't that weak. But we griefed his game somewhat. Someone has all the medallions. I am not well familiar with this biome. I'm shooting shotgun up there. We can't see them now, but... Can I get that drop? I was gonna say, like, if one shockwave's away from that bite, like, he might end up in a spot where, like, he's weak and I can do something about him. with that loot is we have no windshield was that bunker there already i wish i had cerberus dashes this person just fought here and might feel like safe RIP. That's for not having a sniper kind of grease. Because if I had a sniper there, that potentially could have been a free kill. I don't have the most air ammo either because we've gotten no refreshes all game. This guy with the medallions is coming right at me. I would if I was him, yeah. Give me a scuff fight. Having a long fight with somebody with Cerberus dashes is rough. Hopefully he just like walks out in the open. Damn. Or that happens. like ran into the bottom of the bunker where he couldn't do anything like couldn't dash away or anything i missed one of my shots uh if i'd better aim there i think we kill him while taking way less damage rick i wanted to i should have drove my car more forward i would like to have my car right now Maybe he shouldn't have bubbled either. Like, if I, if I have my car here, we at least have cover. Zone pulls back my way, so we're chilling. I might just have to burn all my bubbles here. Because I feel like anybody with a sniper just, like, hard targets me. 
We have medallions and zone. Into five tech. If I could pick up a free kill though, that'd be great. Cause I have the siphon medallion now that would get my white health full. This is the most stressful thing I've ever done in Fortnite. Like I, my pen tweet on Twitter is a game I clutched in FNCS. But that was way more stressful than that game. Hoping no one looks up here and sees me. I wanted to shockwave him out. That was a choke, man. I just do that. GG's. Dang, he wasn't weak at all. I thought I had him pretty weak. I just wanted to shockwave that guy out of the bunker. At the end there. Because he was weak with someone pushing him. So I thought if I shockwaved him out of the bunker, then like I would kind of have that position. The bunker would be broke, but everyone would be focused him. And then we could have like an... We, like I could create a fight in a bad spot and then third party it. Why is it so loud? Holy. All right, now it should let me show my stats. So far up to elite, we've played 16 games, won eight of them, and top 10, 14 out of 16. So there's been two games that I did not get top 10 in. So we'll just go pleasant. Kind of thought about going fencing just like by shocks, but I feel like that place is going to be a, a war. This place might be too. I feel like Pleasant is like very bizarre as a POI. Like sometimes there's just like way too many people here and then sometimes there's nobody. Like I feel like it's a little in between. Seems like only two players this game though. So I like jinxed it in a positive way. We got like some of the in between. Red dot IR up the rip, that's nice. I shouldn't have drank the big pot right away. I didn't expect that guy to just do that though, you know? Hangman. I thought he was going to chase. I'm so bad with those. If he tries to drop on me. Oh, he's in here. Dude, Brutus, just let me buy something from you, man. Thank you.
I don't even think that's the same person. I'm pretty sure it's a male default skin, but like, I have been told my memory is just the worst, so I might be crazy. I think it was like the bullseye, the male version of the bullseye skin. There's a third party padding to us as well now. They might fight. They don't fight. I'm gonna try to get onto that building that he was previously at. Okay, that person that padded here is leaving, I think. I was going to say, with them padding here, I assume they're, like, eager to fight. That was why I didn't want to fight them when they land, because I thought they would just land on me. And then this other guy would have an easy third-party opportunity. We're running low on ammo. This guy has shocks. Thank you for the sub, Karrison. I appreciate it. Enjoy your sub badge, emotes, and ad free viewing. Thank you so much. There's two people here. See if that other guy third parties. He's quite weak. Dude, I don't know what I just got stuck on there. That was almost bad. I got like stuck on the siren, I think. I was like very eager about killing that guy earlier when I had only like an AR and SMGs because I thought only two people landed here. So like if I get that kill, then we're, you know, we could just loot the POI in peace. And I, I would like to just get those kills quickly and then loot the POI in peace and not have like the heals and consumables like, like shockwaves and bunkers and stuff get used up. But he had an auto shotgun and a burst. I still almost killed him. I think he probably used this. Yeah, he probably upgraded this AR that way. He only has two attachments. But people just kept pulling up. Also, I get asked so much why I ADS spam in moments like that. Like, people think it's something with aim assist because back in the day, aim assist used to work like that. It's just to move my crosshair quickly because when someone's, like, shockwaving through the sky, their, their character's moving a lot, right? So if I have to move it like this, like, if I stay aimed in the entire time, it's going to be slower than if I, like, aim in and then resnap. If that makes any sense. Like, my unaimed sensitivity is higher than my aimed sensitivity, and, like, doing it constantly, like, you get, like, a bit of a faster sense. It's like mostly when people are like shockwaving or something like that, I'll do like that. But it's not really anything to do with aim assist. It probably like negatively impacts aim assist, but uh, 
nice if you need to like catch back up especially now with everything being projectile you gotta aim a little bit of in front of them so if you're like following behind it could be tough to catch back up and like your crosshair always like aims in in the center people shooting over there i can't really do anything with it though Medallion. This is likely Grimgate. I would have liked to like quickly loot this area and then go in third party Grimgate. Like that would have been like perfect scenario for me, but it didn't happen this game. All right. That was actually terrifying. I was not looking at my screen. I like looked at my chat for a second. And that person just appeared, but she missed two like auto shotty shots. So I was like very down to fight her. Has she been there the whole time? I thought the guy I ended up killing by the bunker was the one who threw those. Quite weak. I got the reload bug. Oh my gosh, that was almost bad. There's gonna be somebody else coming from Pleasant. I knew my AR needed to be reloaded, and I knew my shotgun didn't. And then when I got the re a uh, reload bug there. That could have been very bad if I like wasn't sure that my shotgun was uh, loaded. Cause like when you get that, if the gun is loaded, if you swap off it and then back on it, you like won't be reloading anymore. But like sometimes in the heat of the moment, it can be confusing if you weren't like, you know, a hundred percent certain that your gun was loaded before. No shocks, and unfortunately we got no extra bunkers from this. I think I could have four bubbles. I think there's bubbles outside, but uh, I think I'd rather have two bunkers than four bubbles. Just because bunkers create like a permanent piece of cover. Dang, the, the tires were popped. I wanted to take that car and then drive over to this little house and see if the G-Wagon's here. And then if this G-Wagon didn't spawn... There's more over there that can spawn, like by the beach houses, and then there's a house near the beach houses that can spawn one. Like the three little piggies. Like if this G-Wagon doesn't spawn, then I'm going to go down to the beaches and then see if that G-Wagon spawn. The reload bug is sometimes when you swap to a gun, it like makes you reload even then, though you didn't need to. Is this not looted? Yeah, that you I can didn't spawn and then there's I think one that can spawn in front of those houses as well. Those beach houses I feel like were most impacted by the cooler removals. And the healer NPC isn't there anymore, so I feel like a lot of the main reason to land there is just gone. So it could be an okay drop spot because that house down there has I think enough barrels to be just full shield off the rip. I might just leave. I 
Yeah, I think I have more to lose than to gain from this fight. I already have several kills. If I had no kills this game, I would maybe be down to like fight that, but like I, I'm like decently likely to get flanked, I think. Like it's kind of like a car was already pulling up. And then even then just like, doesn't feel like the greatest fight just sniping down on him. Maybe they fight, but like, again, I already have several kills this game. I'm kind of down to just try to make it end game. There might not be much of an in-game this game, though. We're already top 13, top 14. Yeah, top 13. This is like what I was saying last game, where I was like, sometimes I feel like I should just carry shockwaves anyways, because there might not be a real end game. But like, you can't know until you know. But like, this is seeming like a game where it'd probably be just better to have shockwaves and bunkers. I didn't realize how dead it was. I think one of the guys that's in this game I killed earlier today in pub. See what this guy's gonna do. This is a terrible person. He lets Aphrodite chill outside the car. Makes her walk. I really don't know what I want to do because I feel like this is a good spot to be, but it's just boring. bring my car up more so this medallion player is likely coming from snooty imagine my car just knocked me off the mountain and i died that's some stuff that would happen in fortnite like the car rolling at like 0.01 miles per hour just eliminates me off the side of the mountain i would have to like try to pop fizz before i hit the ground or hope i land in the water I don't know if he knows that I know. Oh, he does. He's gonna pop bunker. I don't think that rock can be broken, but he might not be expecting me to peek from a different angle. If any can see it, I don't think they can. But like sometimes when you throw a bunker, people get like hard focus on the bunker itself. He's in a really bad spot though. Anybody coming from the other side of the map, it's going to have a free snipe on him. If he's just like chilling by that rock still. He's still there. I just saw like a piece of his ears. But everyone is going to be headed this way. Like I really think that he's in a terrible spot. Like anybody coming from there, there, there. Let's free snipe on him. The tires for the jump. I shed Cerberus stashes. We don't need to be here anyways. It's about to not be in zone. By dashes, 
I could have got to my bunker faster and maybe held him. This car is so weak. We only have one bunker though. I don't think there's anybody in this bush because it just recently opened up. This is that guy I could have tried to grief for more earlier. Again, I think he's in a spot where like the more he focuses on me, the worse his game gets. Because that's like a decent spot to have in this next zone. This car is down there. I can't see if there's any G wagon so. Zone pulled far. Of course he hits it, man. People just always are sniping me in bushes recently. But I really think that like I'm very surprised that guy can just like care about me. I feel like where he is is such a bad spot. This is bubbles. The, I feel like the bubble is going to wear off, yeah. I don't know Snooty Subs very well. No, man. What the heck? Oh, I didn't die. I like came here too early, though. Dude, imagine I died like that after talking about it earlier. It would have been crazy. I think I can play the top of this house. For a little bit at least. Because anything that can shoot at me now hasn't been in zone very long. Can't do anything with that though. And don't want to be up here for very long because people can shoot at us. Zone pulled uh, weirdly. This is the only house in zone. I don't know if it's better to just go for this or try to like get more damage on this person. But like, because I think that guy in the car is like the main player that matters. But also, I feel like it's hard to use anywhere. And in that house I was on, I feel like it's hard to use it without like being an easy snipe for somebody else. I just like don't know this POI very well, which stinks because like if they start fighting, I want to be able to easily third party that. But I don't know like my way around these buildings that well, you know? He's trying to stay up there. I don't think any of that is in zone, yeah. No bananas. This is what I was talking about. Like, I just don't know this area well enough. I thought I was in zone the way I was. Now we're in zone. Zone pulled far again. No one's trying to fight. I was checking those vegetable baskets to see if there's bananas. Oh, 
I really wish I had shockwaves right now. I'm just gonna go. Maybe they fight. Should have checked that guy's loot maybe, but I thought I was about to immediately get third partied. One in that tunnel thing. Let me move, please. Yeah, I'm just dead. I think one's coming behind me too. Like that was just bizarre. Yeah. Like four trying to kill me, he ruined his own game there. But that's like Fortnite players. The sprint was so unlucky. That's why I was going to try to take bananas. This is taking longer than usual. We'll never know what rank I am. They're going to derank me back to bronze for that. We were unable to fetch your results, but they've been recorded. Your rank will automatically update when ready. All right, GG's Fortnite. You'll have to find out on the next episode what rank I ended up with after that game. I think it went to Elite 35. It wasn't 35 before, right?